Uh, hello, my name is Islam al Deeb and I am a doctoral student at the Center for Wireless Communications, University of Oulu in Finland. And in this video, I'm presenting our recent work that was published in EUCNC and 6G Summit. And it is called Learning Based Trajectory Planning of Multiple UAVs for AOI Minimization in IoT Networks. We assume that we have a grid world where the base station is located at the center of this grid world. We have a uniformly distributed limited power IoT devices in this grid world, and we have uh, moving UEVs, flying UEVs uh, on a certain height that serve those devices and um, retransmit the data to the base station. We assume also that we have multiple charger debuts at the corners of the grid world. We assume that there is a certain coverage radius that um, ensures the successful communication between the UEVs and the devices, and this coverage radius is controlled by the power, the transmission power of the devices. The target is to optimize the trajectory or the path of the UEVs and also the scheduling policy, which devices the UEV will choose at a time to schedule. And the, the purpose is to minimize the overall average age of information of this environment. We formulate this problem as Markov decision process, where we have our agents are the multiple UEVs, the state space consists of the location of the UEV and the age of information and the, the, the battery of the UEV. The action space is which direction the UEV should move and which device the UEV should choose. Finally, the reward function is um, formulated in terms of the weighted age of information of the devices. And if a device is chosen uh, which is outside the coverage radius of the UEV, a deduction point or uh, are, are added to the overall reward to speed up the learning. Um, we, you, we use the Q function to evaluate how an action is good in a certain state and um, we use the Q learning, the iterative algorithm called the Q learning to solve this problem. But however, this problem is, di is dimensionally very high and very complex. Therefore, we uh, formulate deep Q networks algorithm to solve uh, this high dimension problem. We compare the case of one UEV is serving uh, five devices and the two UEVs are serving five devices where the UEV is free to move in a square direction to the right, to the left, to up to the down or to be fixed and as we can see in case of two UEV, the overall age of information is better than using one UEV only, and both of them outperforms the random walk baseline scheme. On the other hand, when the UEV is free to move in uh, an octagon uh, direction, where it can now move in eight directions, plus being uh, fixed, uh, we call this model nine directions model, it has an overall better uh, average age of information than the five directions model and both one UEV case and two UEV case outperforms the random walk baseline. Um, in addition, when we, when we increase the number of devices that are served by one UEV or two UEVs, the overall average age of information uh, increases because each UEV can only serve one device at a time. As the coverage radius or as the, as the transmission power increases, the coverage radius increases and now the UEV can, um, can communicate successfully with um, very far devices and uh, this decreases the overall average age of information. And of course, always the deep reinforcement learning proposed algorithm outperforms the random walk. The available energy levels at, the, at each UEV is um, compared, the five direction model is compared to the nine direction model and also the deep reinforcement learning is compared to the random walk. And as the UEV can save uh, more energy level by not moving a, lo um, a lot or by um, 
moving in the shortest path to the serving point that the UAV optimize in its uh, trajectory. This saves the energy level, saves more power at the UAV side, and this allows the UAV to serve more devices and to be active uh, before running out, running out of battery. And this decreases also the age of information. And as we can see, the line direction model where um, we propose the reinforcement learning algorithm outperforms the, the, the random walk and the five direction model. Don't hesitate to send me an email if you have any further questions and thank you for your listening.